Good afternoon. Just gonna wait for a few people to come on. So today we are going to be making paper butterflies based off of the paper plate caterpillars we made yesterday. We Yesterday, a base starters off the story of the hungry caterpillar, where the caterpillar turns into a butterfly, adapting to its environment, and we talked about how that relates to our situation now that we're learning from home and we're adapting to what we're doing. So I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly. You can make this with just a sheet of paper, some scissors, and some colors. So I want you to grab a blank sheet of paper, and you're going to fold it in half. And you're gonna crease it so that you it looks like this so then what I want you to do is get any pencil or marker or anything and you're gonna draw the top of a heart the top of a heart so it should look like this and I want it to be facing the side that's folded so if you're holding it like this, this should be the open side. It should look like that. So then on top of the heart here, you're gonna draw a half circle and that's gonna be the head of your butterfly. So it should look something like that. And then we want to add the antennas to the butterfly. So it'll look something like this in the end. Once you have this, we're going to use our scissors to cut it out. Make sure that you're using safety scissors and you have the help of a parent if you need. You want to hold the piece of paper together and cut from the side that's folded so that it keeps into one sheet of paper when you're done. So while you're cutting it, you keep holding it together and you want to be cutting through both sides of the paper that you folded. And when it's done, it's going to look something like this. And you're going to unfold your piece of paper. And it's going to look like this. Now, as you can see, you can see part of my marker where I drew the outline for where we cut. So you can flip it over and have a blank butterfly. Next, butterflies are symmetrical. So when you draw something you want to make sure it's on both sides. So when I draw a circle on this side, I'm also going to draw it on this side. And you're going to add designs to both sides of your butterfly. But you also want to make sure you have the body of the butterfly. So what we're going to do is draw two lines going down the center. So it looks like that, and you can see the body. Now up here you can add eyes and a mouth, and you can decorate the antennas if you want. So it could look something like this. In the end. So then I want you to keep designing the sides of your butterfly, adding different shapes or colors. I'm just doing the shapes right now and then I'm gonna color it in. Uh, we can remember that we can use triangles, squares, diamonds, circles, anything you want. Zigzag, squiggly lines. So this is what mine looks like right now. So I decided when I was making my butterfly, I wanted to base it off the colors I used in my caterpillar yesterday. So when I colored it in, I used the same color palette. This is a warm color palette. I used red, yellows, and oranges. There's also the cool color palette, which would be blues, purples, and greens. You could also make it rainbow or anything you want. That's just the color palette I chose. Um, so with any questions you have, feel free to ask. You want it to be symmetrical again, so add different things. I want you to fill up the whole butterfly by filling it in and coloring it. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming to the live. I miss all of you. And this will be on IGTV for anyone to look at later on in the day. 
Thanks. Have a good day and stay home and stay safe.